and he says they have provided it as well in recent games in which they followed a poor defeat on the road. But this is different, this is Ellen Road, and this is as tough as it gets in the Championship. And player of the month for September. Got the goal of the month as well for Ruter and Somerville. Yeah, definitely. And that, that was a you know a, a key point, wasn't it, for Leeds, is that you know you lose real big players. And the two you've just mentioned. With Angelo Ogbonna. Ruled out through a hamstring injury. Good though to see Francisco Serralta back in. Missed three games with a hamstring injury, a muscular injury, I should say. He's had a good start to the season. A chance to have a go here, and Backman, well, he gets away with it, does he? Leeds think it's a goal, it is a goal! Just over the line, and Daniel Backman will not want to see that again. It is another dreadful start for Watford. An even taller hill to climb here now tonight. Yeah, it's not the start, is it? It's not the ideal. And it could be in trouble again here, because Aronson is flying forwards, he finds Nonto. Still Nonto going for the far corner. We'll wish that he could have got a strike away sooner. It just shows that Leeds have got a few things to be wary of themselves as well. He did well when he came on the weekend. Nonto's cross deflected, skips up awkwardly. The follow-up effort, it is two. Brendan Aronson helps himself. Six and a half minutes played and already Leeds United. So, you know, this is a, a dream start for Daniel Farker and Leeds. Five and a fraction away games so far for Watford this season. They've now conceded 15 times. Yeah, I just think they need to be a lot more firm and hard to beat, don't they? And that's that's where I feel that... In 2019, they won their first four that particular season. And they unable to get the better of Tanaka. Well, he's, yeah, he's got that bite about him, hasn't he? He has to, because the, the role that he's playing in there, he has to be that... It's threaded forwards, the cross pulled back now by Jaden Bogle. The Leeds look threatening every time they get into the starting a game. That came in that draw at Sunderland. Eventful night at the Stadium of Light. And We've seen that in the early stages of this game where he was running with the ball and just maybe should have took his shot off. Watford. His marker. And then he should really do better. He's in a 1v1 situation that just gives it away quite cheaply. And Shaq Fatadze, we know he's a really good ball carrier, but... Some interesting comments, Daniel Farker, after the win against Sheffield United about the pitch. But now a chance for Watford to come forward. Signs of life from Tom Cleverley's team. If they can score the next goal, it's game on once again. Yeah, so much more. He wants the players to show that it hurt them as well. Yeah, well, I mean, let, listen, let's, let's put this into perspective. <laughs> you know, they've been... Leeds have been handed more or less two goals. since Ian Hart all the way back in 2001. What a player he was. They work this corner short. And it comes now from Solomon towards the back post. And, and he got on the end of it. And Maka, but he just couldn't quite bring it back across goal. Yeah, I actually felt that he should have used his head. Against Norwich the last time we had the midweek round of fixtures in the championship. But these two, Tanaka and Rothwell. Solomon. Plays it in field now. Tanaka once again. He's happy to be on the ball. Questions asked of Backman again here, and he has to launch it away quickly. Aronson. And Strauk. Tanaka. Threads it in Tonanto, who finds space well. He strikes deflected. Always seem to have a spare option right now, Leeds United. Yeah, it's so hard to defend, I mean. Sixth of the game. Rothwell's ball into the front post, flicked on by Firpo, headed back across goal. Possession here, now with Shaq for Tadze, but he was quickly closed down. Does well to just work it out to this near side, where he can find LaRucci. A couple of decent positions as Leeds give the ball away. Good work by LaRucci, who 
draws the foul and now Tanaka is going to have his name taken. Tanaka wins possession back and he needs some real tenacity and hunger and they're back on the ball once again. That's good defending, is it, for Watford because, again, that sharpness, that possession that Leeds have and then right, just flashing a ball into an area. He was just a touch flat-footed there. Leeds work their way out of it, Tanaka. Just a couple of weeks ago, there is the half-time whistle on top of the championship. Two teams above them, both Sunderland and Burnley, not playing until tomorrow. Stop-start season for him, wasn't it? Looking to get the better of Pascal Strauch, and he's managed to do so as well. Can he pick someone out here? He gets the chance, and he takes it as well. Watford are right back in this game. On the front foot once again, Shaq Vertadze, Tom Ince in all kinds of room there as he was looking to burst into the box, the ball. For me, just get that ball in tight areas and so composed in that midfield. Solomon ahead of him, just tried to flick it over to him, but Pollock rose high to cut that one out. Now Tanaka haven't quite reached where they should do for Leeds. Let's just give him Watford plenty of fuel to go and really take advantage. Certainly ask more questions, haven't they? And they've looked more likely. Tanaka can push it through the lines. He's praised for doing that as if he's got too many problems with that right fight. I'd imagine that was getting... Watford perhaps have made this a bit more about physicality now. In the second half, and Leeds are going to have to fight their way through this as Nonto Solomon. Free kick given. Again, look at the hunger on display from Watford. Three around the ball, but now it breaks to Tanaka. Of the season for him here tonight, looking to find Ebersele. Here's Tanaka again. Leeds fans are... Really, really appreciating his work. That was a vital intervention from him. The race now on, and it's for how much longer it will be before Daniel Farker just freshens things up for Leeds. Forced into one change so far this evening. Now Nonto rolls it to his right. Piro with the chance. And Leeds are preparing a double change, but Nonto here rolling the ball to Piro, who could have gone first time. Only three of them, though been in this second half. Four on target through the night for Leeds. Three for Watford. Ball threaded through here to Bogle. Now can he pick someone out? Tanaka. Andrews gets a boot in. A loose pass by Backman. Tanaka. Waits for the run of Dan James, who's got three to try and pick out. Centrally here, he clips it in, and the header from Joseph. Perhaps he could have left it for Aronson. Just feels perhaps as if the game is tilting a touch more towards this end of the pitch. Tanaka continues to impress. Tidy once again. Pitties. Tanaka really has shone here at times this evening and he's on the ball again here and he's looking to take leads forward he finds junior furpo wants to celebrate with their players inside ellen Road. but we are a long long way from that of course we are so very early in the season but leads andrews nudges it forwards tanaka in the way it was shaky early on but his side have grown into the game and they're not giving up on this one just yet kayambe begging the referee to bring it to an end Leeds United are top of the championship. Over to you, Sunderland. Over to you, Burnley.